Hello friends and welcome to my 12 week check in with you. I am officially today 12 weeks post op from my tummy tuck with Dr. Near at Palms Wellington Plastic Surgery. Very happy that I had the surgery. So I want to tell you what it's been like the last few weeks, the activity I've been doing, how I've been feeling, the swelling, the compression and all the things. So uh, here is my 12 week body. Now I have to tell you, I just did a, um, a workout. I did a chest workout and then I did an ab workout. So I am a little bit more swollen than when I woke up. Uh, so that's what happens is when you do heavy exercise right now, you swell. Um, and so let me also show you my scar right now, which I think is a little bit darker than when I woke up this morning but it's coming along very nicely. I have been using scar uh, gel daily, twice a day. I'm gonna come up nice and close so you can see. So I still remember I had had the T scar, so there's a little bit right there, and then it goes across, um, but it's looking great. It's nice and flat. You can see my abs popping here a little bit. So, um, so I will tell you, uh, I started lifting again three weeks ago. Uh, now, I'm a personal trainer, so lifting is my jam. It's what I do with my clients. I'll be teaching a few workouts this week, so I wanted to make sure I was back in the swing of things. And so, uh, as of three weeks ago, I started my lifting program. I definitely started swelling a lot at the beginning when I would do my workouts. Um, it's uncomfortable for me to run or do any kind of cardio, but I don't really love cardio anyways. I do hop on my bike, which is working very well, uh, but just once in a while. Again, too much cardio is really getting me to swell a lot, um, but it's been going really well. At the beginning, I also started incorporating abs, but I felt that the abs were a little bit too much, so I kind of pulled back and I was doing abs once a week. Now I did abs yesterday and I did them today and I actually feel really great. So what I'm going to do is starting on March 1st, um, I, which is in a week or so, I'm going to start my Jill's Killer Abs program, which is uh, 20 days of abs. And so it's 20, well it's 20 workouts, 16 days of abs and four days of booty. And so this really, it, it shapes your six pack. Um, that will come back as soon as I get into these rounds of my Jill's Killer Abs. And so I'm excited to start that on March 1st. You can start it with me if you want. I'll drop the link uh, below the video so that you can join Jill's Killer Abs too. Uh, it's an amazing program that I created different than any other abs program that I had ever done in that it's all individual workouts. So that you're never repeating a workout and so you can actually repeat the program on the first of every month and do 20 days straight and then take like 10 or 11 off and go back. Or you can do it Monday through Friday for four weeks. And then when you start it over again, you can do it forever and you'll just keep refining your abs. I built it so that uh, it hits your abs and your booties from all different angles and really supports your back too because I have a bad back from an injury um, back in 2008. Okay. So I'm excited to get back into the ab work. So what I also did when I started three weeks ago, um, I started with a high carb diet to support all the lifting and the muscle building that I wanted to achieve. But I quickly found about two weeks in that the high carb was making me swell a ton. So carbs have water and so I was just getting um, bigger and I was feeling uncomfortable by the end of the day with all the carbs. So I've since switched to a more protein uh, weighted diet, um, more balance, balance, but I've also been drinking a lot of alcohol because we've had a lot of social events with our friends. Now again, when I started drinking alcohol, I would immediately feel the swelling in my belly and it was uncomfortable. Now in the last uh, week, I also completely stopped compression. So for since about week nine, I was actually just doing compression at night and then I would go the day without the compression unless towards the end of the day I was starting to feel that uh, swelling Then I would put my binder on. But what I found was when I completely stopped the compression at night too about a week ago, 
I think my overall swelling has started to go down more. So I'm not sure if that would have been beneficial earlier in the process, but it's all just a learning game. I think all of our bodies are different. So you just have to try different things. So for now, higher protein, um, balanced carbs is working well for my body and my swelling. No compression is working well for my swelling. Incorporating exercise with paying attention um, to you know what happens when I do certain types of exercise uh, is helping me and then I'm excited to get back into my out of workouts. So here is my current 12 week post-surgery body. Um, still working on getting the muscle tone back all over and that'll be a process, but um, one that I am excited about and uh, yeah, and so that's it. So scar is doing well. Gonna keep putting that scar gel on every day. Um, my next appointment with my doctor is in a little over two weeks. So I think it was uh, March 14th or somewhere around there. So uh, I have a couple weeks before I see the doctor again. I think that they said that that is my final appointment with them. And uh, so I'll give you the update after I see them. Then if you have any questions, again, my surgeon was fantastic. His team is amazing. Uh, Dr. Near at Palms Wellington Plastic Surgery. You can go to drnear.com and uh, find him there. And you can ask me any questions that you have. Uh, again, I think it's one of the best things that I ever did. I had so much loose skin, so many stretch marks up here. And now um, I still have some stretch marks below my belly button, but they're much less pronounced and they don't have to be seen. Uh, again, my scar is looking great and, um, and there is some sensitivity. So some people have asked like if my belly is numb. It's not numb, it's still sensitive. So it feels sore uh, still, but this is a process and the nerves are still um, growing back together and healing. So it's a process and it takes time but overall I'm very happy and excited. So I wish you luck too if it's something that you're looking into or if you're recovering from surgery too. Uh, feel free to get in touch with any questions.